Good evening. Hi. How are you? Great to be with you. I'm Matt. This is who are you again? I'm Beth. Oh, it's Beth. <laughs> if you haven't seen me online before, it's Beth because I keep getting you confused for for mum. Right. Mm. People mm. do say that I look a bit like my mum, my lovely mum, who's yeah. often up here on a Wednesday evening. She is. Yeah. So for all of those who didn't know, and the beautiful uh, yes. mum who's actually just jumped online, Hi, <laughs> uh, so this is our firstborn, Beth Lynn Warmersley now, yeah. no longer Smithy Sparkles. Oh, um, I don't know about that. I still like being called Smithy Sparkles. But... Yeah, she's a bit of a sparkly one. But hello everyone. Uh, tonight we are really excited. We are um, doing on our Q&As, uh, well last week. Catherine and Isaac. Oh, so good. It's just so much I fun. I don't have a Nerf gun, don't. so I feel very underdressed. <laughs> um, and when Isaac came on with that helmet on, it gave me a bit of a fright. Yeah. I didn't actually know. Was I was watching the right video or not. A little bit scary. Uh, but what we're, what we're looking to do on these Wednesday nights is take some time to work through some of the things we, we all get to do as church family. Uh, and we're really believing that tonight there'll be something fantastic for us all to latch on to. So yep. we're really hoping that Catherine and Isaac uh, will be back to um, give us some more updates yeah. on kids. So you might even just even want to put in uh, to the comments bar, bring back K and I. <laughs> um, you know, it's like the masked kids pastors. But I, I'm hoping that they'll help us. I'm hoping that they'll help Karen and I get Archie standing in worship and some keys. Yeah. And some clues to doing that. We're, we're looking forward to having Jesse and Felicity, our worship wow, pastors, come and share great. some stuff. Uh, Pastor Gary on Connect Groups, Laura Bain on yep. uh, our community initiatives, and some of the things and some of the ways we reach over the fence would be rather cool. Yeah. But tonight, and this is just one of them, and I will get let Beth get a word in anyways <laughs> in a second. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> She's getting a good chance of, of what mum goes through. But... Tonight we actually want to look at social media. And so it's not just social media in terms of what is abundant life doing in terms of social media. but So we're calling it a SWAT. If you don't know what a SWAT is, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. Yep. Uh, not just for how we're doing this, but I guess how we all use social media. Because it yeah. is something that we're all going to use. So yep. I'm going to find it here in case yeah. there's some questions come up. Absolutely. I'll take a breath. Okay. And I'll say yeah, hello yeah. to some of the wonderful people hopping online. I've seen Teresa and Tom, Gary and Liz. Thanks for joining us. I'm a bit keen to be sharing with you all tonight. Um, just something I'm super, super passionate about. Um, but, you know, we're going to be doing this over a couple of different you know, mm. weeks. So yep. I'll be back so I don't have I'll to, you know, back. spit everything out that I know and overwhelm you all with all of my, you know, social media expertise as Dad says I've got a degree in Facebook or a master's in Facebook. Master's in Facebook. But, um, no, this is going to be great. What did you really do? I did a Bachelor of Media majoring in Strategic Communications. Wow, that's that's very impressive. It sounds extra fancy. I still think a Master of Facebook sounds... It sounds a bit cooler. A bit more like millennial-esque, yep. I think. But yep. we'll see. Nice. See what I can bring. So do us a favour. Uh, <laughs> Beth and I are basically going to chat tonight. Uh, as Beth said, we're going to step some of these conversations out over the next month or so. Yeah. Keep Wednesday nights fresh. So, like I said, kids or our creative, our, our worship team, yeah. our community team. Hey, Barbie, how are you? Uh, and I see that Hannah's there as well. Yeah, that hey, that is awesome. But tonight, so social media. So, if you'd like to write some questions in yeah. there with a millennial expert <laughs> um, on all things social media. Um you know, put those questions up. We probably will bank those questions yep. tonight, and we'll bank and we'll pay them forward. But this will help seed the next time that Beth or I, or, or maybe Pastor Karen and Beth, yeah. if I if I get the sack um, <laughs> for being too silly, uh, gets to gets to come and ask those questions. So we would love your questions. We'd love to be able to know how we can actually help make social media such a, a relevant tool for you to to grow in. Yep. We really believe that um, that we're positioned uh, to be able to have a legitimate online church community yeah. that does life together as much as it, we'd love to be in rooms together and face to face. Uh, as much as I know that it's t challenging to be able to hit mute on, on Facebook or some of these things and, yeah. and yell at the kids where they can find their shoes. Yeah. But um, we want to be able to take the steps and social media is now part of the fabric of life yeah. and how we actually use that. So by all means, ask your questions. Yep. Um, we said before a SWAT, 
strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, mm. and threats. Yeah. So, Beth. Yes. If we looked at uh, a strength mm. for social media, for social media, you know, and by social, not just Facebook. Obviously, mm. everyone who is watching tonight and will watch later on through the week has managed to find their way into the Facebook universe somewhere. But what are one of the strengths of uh, I guess people of faith mm. or, or people just even doing life with, with younger people what are one of the strengths of social media well I think because it is such a large platform you get to reach such a large group of people um, people that mm. you may not have even met yet people who may not ordinarily um, chat with you about faith you know on a day to day basis Great. or who may not walk into the building on a Sunday so that is a massive strength of the world of social media um, mm. that you're just reaching so many different people that you wouldn't actually ordinarily reach just you know in a coffee shop or just who might not rock up to church so yep. yeah yeah so realistically so I think that's almost one of the things that like social media mm. Twitter Facebook, Instagram. We don't really do the other ones here in Australia too much. Was no. it Raku or TikTok, TikTok Snapchat. Snapchat? It's just does my brain <laughs> in. But I mean, obviously, we've got a, we've got a huge amount of people doing that. Yeah. I really feel like that it's almost shrunk the world. Yeah. Smaller again. So mm. um, many of us watching would remember the dial-up internet. We can still hear that sound, that <laughs> screeching sound of telephones dialing into the internet. That seemed to shrink the world down. Yeah. Uh, it seemed to bring a real global culture in a way that I guess MTV had done. I know I'm starting to predate you, <laughs> uh, but television, yeah. you know, global cultures yeah. from Japan to the Ukraine to Australia to England, yeah. you know, Levi's, Pepsi, Michael Jackson, wow. um, all these sort of things. A, a global culture came. Yeah. And now because of social media, again, we really are locked and, and linked in locked in I guess yeah with the whole I think it's really interesting Absolutely. that one of the great strengths is that we can actually have friends that we may not have seen for a long yeah. period of time yeah. um, be able to find old uh, schoolmates uh, neighbors uh, family all that sort of stuff I think that's, that, that's a great strength yeah. for social media and really one of those those inspirational tools that if we use it wisely and yes. we use it well yes we, we no longer are sort of pocketed away. Um, yeah. So that's really good. What about one of the weaknesses? If we did strengths, what would, what would, what would you see as being a weakness? Oh, well, I think even we were reflecting just before we jumped on how you can still get very weary in this mm. environment. You know, it's easy for it, you, for it to come to become complacent mm -hmm. um, for it to feel a bit same old just yep. like you know sometimes meetings do in person as well when something becomes regular it's easy to become a bit disengaged mm -hmm. um, a bit distracted so I definitely think that is a weakness um, and especially with social media as we said you can mute this you can pause it you can no, watch no, not, it not this you not this don't pause this <laughs> but um, you but you can in, in this environment you can stop it you can watch it later and mm -hmm. so it's easy to put it off um, right. or to become disengaged in, right. in a moment um, but there are also lots of ways to, you know, power So you're up. saying, so, I mean, again, we, we just listed off a whole bunch of different yeah. um, tools. Yeah. That, and most people would have a couple that they would enjoy more yeah. than others. So yeah. many, some of us are Instagrammers, some of us are Facebookers. There's not many, Aussies are not really sort of Twitterers. Um, I don't use Twitter myself. Uh, but, but, um, and generations yeah. can look at Facebook, yeah. TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that. Yeah. So fatigue is one of the things. Um, I don't know if this was actually part of where we were talking about before, but, but what would be one of the ways or a couple mm. of thoughts around mm. of actually doing fatigue? Because we, if we're trying to create community online, yeah. uh, we, want, we want our church to be able to engage yeah. in this space. Yes. How do we do fatigue? Obviously, mm. one of the things we have done is we went from morning and night. Remember, we yeah. did a month or two of every morning, every night. We did, um, yeah. And so that was pretty crazy. Yeah. Which we're, we're honing that in a little bit yeah. um, to try, uh, as, as a way of looking at um, social media fatigue. What, yeah. what would you say about uh, staying fresh in a social yeah. media space? Um, I think, you know, this implies to things that we do in person but online as well is that you don't need to watch everything every week 
you know, um, at the time that it's live, you can actually take a break. You can actually go, this segment's really important to me and make the time every week to do that with friends or family or, um, you know, over dinner. But you don't have to be involved in everything. You don't actually have to always be engaging. You can yeah. take some space to choose what things that you're involved with. And when you when you get involved. Yeah, in absolutely. Yeah. Good. So, you know, family's really important. If that if this comes up over a family tea, it's on YouTube. You can watch it in the morning. You can listen to our Tuesday mornings on Spotify as you're driving. There are times to mix and match when you watch things, when you're engaged with things that's not always, you know, draining or becoming a bit of a chore that I have to that's watch really, this at really 7 p.m. live. I have to listen to that at 6.30 a.m. live. That There are so many ways to be engaged um, and just to, you know, pause and take some time out yeah. but still, you know, yeah. listen later. Yeah, I, I am. I, I'm really encouraged by that actually, yeah. because I think there is sometimes, you know, particularly with most of our social media on our phones, yes, that so it can really crack the whip. Yeah, it can actually be it can actually be a, a slave driver, yeah. and it can it can master us. Oh, I have to, I have to. Yeah, and it means that sometimes we actually as good as tonight is, yes. and I and I really believe as meaningful as it is, yeah, for how we engage in in spaces which are here to stay. This space and this technology is never intended to be our master. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I really love that, that we can actually um, not have to watch at 7 o'clock. Yeah. Um, you can save the videos. You can go back and review the videos. I would, I obviously, my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Is that there's that you don't stop engaging yeah, and go no oh, that's not important yeah. and then and actually become absent uh, lose rhythm and yeah. lose routine yeah. um, which is we've actually worked very hard to, to try and keep some of that have, some yeah. of that but I think to get notifications on your phone save a video yeah. um, or you know again if this is happening at seven and the better time for you to watch it is at eight yeah set alarms on your phone that absolutely you're, I, I, I think that's really good and that means that I'm not oppressed yeah. are you smiling at them or are you smiling at me or smiling at them I love seeing the comments pop up oh there you go thanks Teresa and Isaac they are pretty cool aren't they um, all right, so that's that's a really that's a really good way of staying yeah. fresh in Facebook. Yeah. And again, we'll continue to roll some of these practical things out uh, over some of the the sessions that we do in yeah. social media swats. Woo. Uh, so strengths, strengths, weaknesses, yep, opportunities, opportunities. Mm, have a look at my notes. Mm -hmm. um, I think I touched on the opportunities before um, in a communications environment when you're doing a SWOT analysis. Often the strengths and opportunities and weaknesses or threats are relatively similar. Mm. Um, but I think you look at the opportunities as more of an actionable item. Um, so when you're talking about an opportunity, there is the opportunity to share this with someone who, again, may not ordinarily get to you know hear about our faith, hear about Jesus. Um, but there's an opportunity there, which means that you actually have to do something to make it happen. Mm. Um, so that's sharing something like this. So you have the opportunity to share what we put out on social media for someone else to hear and engage with. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So an opportunity to not just, I guess, I guess it's, I mean, one, we can sit in a mm. Sunday service, uh, yeah. we could sit in a connect group, we could read a book, Yeah. but an opportunity to take something like this and share it yeah. either to an open platform or privately. Or privately. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really, really good. Yeah. Um, Okay, cool. Yep. So again, what we will aim to do. So please, uh, you know, let me just continue to build on something so that we can we can stretch this out. Yeah. Not just tonight, but over the time. We we will actually get really practical um, in, in sessions to come. Uh, not just sort of talking theoretically around yes. social media. Yeah. I really think we are, our heartbeat will be to really narrow in and say how do we actually do this together yes. I, I guess there's in, in my sense as an opportunity is just to continue to validate uh, this as a, as a legitimate tool for yeah. us in staying connected yes um, I'm, I'm really fascinated to look at how community has been uh, both enhanced yeah. during lockdown yeah. by, by social Absolutely. media as well as how community has been exposed yes by social media and some of the relationships that we don't have yeah. that because we would see people in a workspace a football training or say church and then we would have we would sort of have that happening at 20 percent and then we would sort of have social media bubbling away at 20 yeah. percent we sort of thought we had a halfway decent relationship yeah but when this the actual physical the the, the legitimate connectedness 
the, not just the sort of the like, 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 but the actual engagement, yeah. the conversation, the involvement, the participation yeah. um, in life got taken away. And if we hadn't built that into social media, um, yeah, you know, right. I think it, it, it actually has, has meant that uh, particularly our younger people, as, yes. as I sit in, in some yeah. of that space, I think it's actually exposed that. So, all right, so an opportunity... Um, can you give us something practical mm -hmm. in that? I know yeah. that these are questions without notice. Yes. So what what would be a, a practical mm -hmm. way of, of maximising that opportunity to stay mm -hmm. involved? Um, I think, as I said before, sharing is the... The doing something. The doing something. Um, the sharing is caring motto. I think I mentioned that before. Um, mm. And it's quite obvious, but also just, you know, super powerful. We were chatting earlier today about the fact that you shared something and the views went up by... Like, well, they doubled. Nearly doubled, yeah. They nearly doubled. And yeah. so that's actually the power of just sharing something. Um, but I think we were also reflecting on sharing that you don't share blind. Like, don't just, you know, yeah. share... I mean... Well, I mean, maybe you can. Like, we'd love, well, we'd love you to share. We'd yeah. love you to share. Yeah, yeah. Like, comment, um, just share. Yeah. But also watching what you share so that you can engage with someone who might come back and ask a question mm -hmm. about it or that you feel like God's really, like, particularly asked you to share that particular video with a friend or on your, um, on your news feed. Um, but, yeah, sharing is just... You know, yeah, good. Yeah. That's good. Um, I would I would like to add into that yeah. that I would I would love to take encourage us all to continue to take the opportunity to like um, engage. I mean, you can love yeah. heart. I mean, I've been Barbie O'Brizo just wrote. I, I don't know why it doesn't have a love heart next to it. You are both cool cats too. Aww. That should have got a love heart next love to it heart. the minute that it went up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I, we, I was talking to you about yeah. um, it through my through my channels and Youth Alive. I've got that not thousands, but I've got Eight hundreds thousand, and hundreds. Yeah. I think I've got twelve hundred friends on my Facebook. Yeah. If I'm not liking them, if I'm not engaging with them, if it comes up at someone's birthday and and I just swipe, swipe past yeah. it, what am I doing? Yeah. Should I should I be actually? And we'll talk about ways of being able to maybe hone our friendship list down. Yes. But if I've got those people that well, I said to you, I don't know. It's like it's like walking into a room yeah. with all these people. I know it's your birthday, and I don't even nod my head. I can't even say happy birthday. What am I doing if that yeah. was if that was a real friend? How do yeah. we do that in Facebook? And I think yeah. that level of engagement is so so important. Yeah. And you know, and again, I think what Barbie just said, absolutely, I watched the podcast on the bus to work uh, and watched it with a co-author oh, awesome. when she asked me. That's fantastic. That's, that's amazing, isn't yeah. it? What a fantastic testimony. Yeah. All right, so um, where are we at with time? I, I don't want to push tonight any longer than what we want. So strengths, weaknesses, weaknesses opportunities. opportunities, nail those three, yeah. bring us home. With the threat. Well, bring us home with the threat. With the threat. Yeah, do with it. With the threat. Yeah. Um, yeah, just to give context to SWAT again, just coming from a communications background, please, I'm please. always like, mm. oh, it's not quite the way we usually do it. Um, but again, threats are usually something that are external. So we're usually looking at something that would come in and, you know, maybe a hacker or something. We're not going to talk about that. Don't worry. Um, but a threat, again, would definitely be that disengagement, that weariness and the fatigue that we talked yep. about. Um, you know, yep. we, as, as you said, Dad, like we've got like the whole world on our phones all the time and it's so easy to become fatigued to be like bombarded by notifications bombarded by this person liked your comment this person commented abundant life church is live again and this person put up a post ding 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 constantly mm. and it's just so easy to become weary um and for this to become um just you know a chore not something that you can you know bring i guess really get encouragement from which is the purpose of doing all of these and when I yeah. stop, when I make sure that I'm also not, you know, just scrolling through Facebook mindlessly and I go, I'm actually going to be on Facebook to watch Abundant tonight or I'm going to, you know, be online to watch church on Sunday, I, I actually am encouraged and I actually feel strengthened, not mm -hmm. tired from just watching something else and engaging with something so else excellent. online. So, excellent. Yeah. No, very, really good. Yeah. Uh, just so that you're aware too, we actually do have like admins in all of our online yes. spaces. So you know, if something comes up, we can we we'll we'll shut it down. We'll put yeah. some elevator music on, and we'll all look around and while we, while we deal with it. Um, so so we again that threat isn't yeah. an external one. It's actually how we how we continue to motivate Absolutely. ourselves. Yeah. All right. So let's just keep on um, 
having this conversation. You've been amazing. Um, did you see that Diane Pearson came up? On, I on? saw. It was Lily Ming's birthday two yeah. days ago, and Happy you know birthday. what? I'm going to have to call myself out because I saw it come up on Facebook and I didn't get a chance to say happy birthday. So Lee's here, um, absolutely making me eat my own lunch. So happy birthday to you. And yeah, um, we we are thinking of you in Melbourne in lockdown. We we love you and uh, we're praying for you guys. So a couple of things before we go. Yes. Uh, in a few short moments, our ability to register for our online, our our in-person church. Yep, we'll on go Sunday. up. So nine o'clock, we have Pastor Gary online, yes. hosted by the wonderful Beck Madden. That's gonna be great. And that then Pastor Gary is also going to do our ten thirty a.m. in person. That's for us. Church. Yes. Uh, Karen and I are away this weekend. We're in, oh. we're ministering in Burnie. Wood wood. Um, but and then we've got Father's Day coming up, and we've had some fun. Not far away. Um, planning some Father's Day. So make sure you bring your dads, your mates, or everybody along. You won't yeah. want to miss our Father's Day. Our one. teams just do good celebrations. So that'll Love be loads it. of fun. So we did Sundays, we did that. What else? Registrations. Registrations. That's about it. But make sure you like our Facebook page so you get all the notifications for our lives next week. Yep. And you can put up things on YouTube. So it'll yeah. tell you when, yep. when you can subscribe to that channel. You can subscribe to. Spotify. Spotify. Um, Spotify. Now you wanted me to pray. Yes. Do you still want me to pray, or do you want I'm, to pray? I'm happy to pray. Oh, yeah. There, there you go. Pray. All right. Here we go. I thank you, Father, for this opportunity um, to share tonight, Lord, thank and you. thank you for all the people who are online watching, mm. God. And um, I just pray for the rest of our weeks, Father, that you were just with us, that you strengthen us, that you just with our family in Melbourne, Lord, um, during mm. this crazy season, and that you just bring peace. Um, and Lord, I just pray that you would help us all take the time to pause and take the time to engage wisely online, yes, that Lord. it would not be a distraction to us um, that takes away from our time with you, Father, but that we would use what the tools and the content that is online, Father, to actually grow yes. closer to you, Father. So I yes. just um, pray for your blessing over that and your blessing over all of our brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 Well, again, I love what you shared. Uh, we are continuing to work at these to get them practical. Yes. Uh, if you would like to email us some questions about social Please media, yeah. some, some concerns or some thoughts or whatever, hello at abundant.org.au. We'll get you there. <laughs> yeah. uh, or indeed, keep um, keep doing this. Uh, we're praying for you all. Yes. Uh, we are here for you all. We are. Uh, and go and love somebody. Bye. Have See a great ya. night.